What is up YouTube? We're going to be reviewing a brand new update that just rolled out to my car and hopefully a lot of you as well, which is the live camera view from your mobile app that takes advantage of sentry mode and there's going to be uh, a couple other goodies part of this update. So to enable this, once your car downloads the update, uh, you go into the menu, safety and security, scroll down to sentry mode which needs to be on and then you'll have the view live camera in the mobile app and there's a couple use cases they point out one is safety and security to make sure the car is safe around you before you go to it but for others you may be like hey did I forget to put money in the meter which usually has some sort of light red for not paying or green for that you've paid and so that's the use case it's pointing out um, but generally the way this works is you need sentry mode on you need to turn the setting on and you need to have uh, iOS so this only works on iPhone so I'm going to log into um, an iPhone here, and uh, when you pull up in the app, you know, you need to have on your car. I'm sitting in mine right now, which I do need to walk away. Uh, this doesn't work when you're sitting in the vehicle, but when you go to security, you'll notice it now says view live camera. Now, if you have an iPhone and you don't see that and you feel like you followed the right settings, you'll notice that. Um, you need to update the app. So just make sure your app is updated to the latest one and then you'll be able to use it. So it says it's unavailable because someone is in the car. So let's leave and see if this works. So I'm gonna shut the car, turn on the light and let's try and refresh. See if this works. Expect this to take a second to load and there we go. So the, it said the front lights will flash when this turns on. So right now the car is using the front camera to see the garage. This will be the driver's side camera. Amazing. Passenger side. This is so cool. And rear view from the license plate camera. I would guess the backup camera. Super cool feature. And then if you'll notice, Elon tweeted that you can also use it to communicate with the car. So imagine if someone's like sitting on your car. We've seen this. People lean on your car. They take pictures. You could from a distance... Um, if you spot that, like, I guess, tell them to go. It'll be interesting to see if this creates some frequency on the mic since I'm using two devices here, but. Hey, get away from my car. Hey, get away from my car. Oh my God. So there was some frequency there that shouldn't happen from a distance, but it clearly masks your voice, which is kind of hilarious. You could probably see that sounds like the guy from Squid Game, uh, but you could also flash the headlights and then I guess honk. Oh, that was awful. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's it. You have to have iOS. I hope this rolls out for Android soon. And there's going to be a ton of fun um, parodies on YouTube or whatever else of people probably talking through the car to other people walking by. It's going to be very unexpected. So I hope you enjoy it and that you get the update and have fun with it. And can't wait to see y'all's videos on what you do with it.